The Federal Reserve kicked off its latest meeting today, and the big question is, will the central bank raise interest rates again? The Fed held rates steady last month. If the committee chooses to raise them again to cool inflation, this will be the 11th hike since March of 2022. That decision is due tomorrow. We all we are just over halfway through 2023 and now can be a great time for a mid year financial check in here with some simple steps to help you make and save more money is money and business expert Derek Kenny. Hi Derek. Happy Tuesday. Thank you, Morgan. Great to see you. All right. So we've gone over some of the steps that you like to give. So we're just going to walk through some of them, help make people a bit smarter in this space. You say the first step is to review your financial goals. What is the best way to do that? Well, you want to keep it simple. Let's say that you have a goal to pay off $5,000 of credit card debt. How much progress have you made so far this year? Or if you want to save for that important vacation next year, are you making progress? And now's a great time to pause and measure, am I on track to do what I want? And if not, what are two or three simple steps you can take to get on track? So December of this year is your watching the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve, you feel like you crushed your goals and you're on pace to achieve what you want. Now, next you say to make decisions that are easy. What types of decisions are those and why is that so important? You know, money is so complicated and most people think that if I achieve a goal, it's got to take this Herculean effort, Morgan. What I would tell people is, look, if you want to pay off a credit card, uh, let's say $1,000 this year, that's basically $100 a month. So set aside an extra $100 a month, the first of the month, not the end. We often know there's more month left than there is money. If we can avoid that and pay yourself first, you'll be amazed at how quickly you can pay off some debt and save for your goals. Let's say you want to save more for retirement, for example, that's simply call or going online to your human resource department and automatically adding 1% or 2%, you're going to barely miss it, but automatically your money's working harder for you. Now, I want to talk about a word that can be really scary to some people, risk. How do you best review your risk? Well, the bottom line is you want your money working as hard for you as you work to earn it. And so the way to do that is to make sure you're not over conservative, but you want to make sure your age matches your risk. So for example, let's say you're 45 years old watching right now, and you might want to have 40 to maybe 50 or 60% in growth. So look at your 401k, talk to your financial advisor about your investments, and make sure you're in things like the S&P 500 or other growth types of stocks that as we see concerns about a recession dip a little bit, the, the growth areas tend to do better. So I want to make sure people's money is working as equally hard for them. Now, your last tip really caught my attention. I am a lover of lattes. Okay, so when I saw <laughs> this tip, I was excited. It says uh, to schedule a coffee date. What do you mean by that? Well, what you want to do is ideally with your partner or, or with a good friend, you want to set some goals and have some accountability because if you're sitting with somebody having coffee once a month or maybe it's a glass of wine, whatever your drink of choice is, if you know someone's going to ask you how are you doing toward your goals, you're going to be far more likely to do whatever it takes to reach those goals, Morgan. I think we would agree on that. And what you want to do is that's going to help you propel yourself to financial success as opposed to setting goals by yourself and nobody knows about them, you're going to be surprised by how that supercharges your financial success. All right, I have to say that is my favorite tip. I don't need an excuse to go get a <laughs> coffee, so I will definitely use that one. Derek, I Kenny, thank it. you so much. Always making us smarter. Thank you, Morgan. Good to see you.